Hey, how y'all doing? This is Veronica Martha Trixia Zaquea, and this is like my update video. So last time I talked to y'all, like I was facilitating groups at a community pride center, doing my thing with that. And then like, you know, I left that. I was working with uh, developing disabled individuals. I left that. I think I told you I came out of work and was just living my life. Um, worked on my voice and everything, put out two albums, and basically the first one was called Transgender Reject, because that's how I was feeling. Next one is called Transgender American. So now the chronicles of this one, I feel what's the next step after you become an American? You run an empire. So this one is called trans woman empire trying to make it in America you know because it seems like the trans experience is like real broad from like you know we separated from stuff we still getting killed and everything so try to make it so I left my job and then before COVID right before COVID I left everything I was gonna go focus on music and then COVID hits I'm like what to do since then so since then, I picked up a merchandising job. Since then, I took up a merchandising job, which is cool. It had me going all over the city, taking the buses for free. And then next step was, you know, what I'm gonna do? I, I had quit, quit the work to play music. And I ended up playing music. Met, joined up with this marching band beforehand and everything shut down so we got no marching season except to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade so then it's like what to do what to do because since then I was able to grow up my followers a little bit people who listen throw some ads in get some things going to build transgender radical rationale well excuse me on the title TRR to build that from like the ground up where it was just like two people in a, like three people in a prize center just talking about something to making it something actually worth something. I'm talking about from like copyrights to trademarks and everything. And then trying to build that up from the ground up. So that's where I'm at now. Like what to do next? You know, I put out the music, you know, it's getting, it's getting there slowly. I think the best one I had had about 3000 views. So, I guess the next step is to really just try to grow and keep going forward and talk about some shit and just continue to do the uh, update video. Find some flock, build up from there, save some money. I work with another agency doing uh, helping out um, develop me, developmentally disabled individuals, of which I love, and still do some advocacy work on the side. I guess that's, I don't know, I'm trying to build, you know, TRR, Trans Radical Rationale, from nothing to something, <laughs> doing it independently, because I was able to put out music independently. So I guess if that's like the tools to make it, you know, I'm a first generation immigrant, so like the first tools to make it, you know, is there. So I guess the mindset is to really just how to make it in America, you know? Since then, I started improving my French, learning some German, learning some Spanish, learning some Russian, learning how to write in Arabic, because ain't nothing to do. Everything closed, bars closed at 10. I can't perform, because like, everything closed, venues are different. I became like a little bit of a heck of a drummer now. And some of the music, start putting out more music, and now I just still got, I still got more music to put out, and try to figure out the developmentally disabled field. Shit. Ain't nothing to do else but record. Hey, and they say COVID is a shutdown, but since then I was able to get two essential worker tags, one for being a retail essential worker, one for being a healthcare worker. So, I mean, I mean, also since then, like, I also lost a girl. Like, she said she was no longer into girls, so. I was like, shoot. She was a trans girl, though. She was cool. 
and then what's it called went on a tinder date and with a uh, uh, trans mask person who was cool it's my first like trans mask experience they i swear they they do it to me I guess the next step after this i don't know because i also picked up sign language so how do you else keep growing oh yeah also like got some stock market got into the stock market i guess i just be hustling Put out some video, video album called Transgender Reject Gender Zuckers. I don't do LSD. Put out an EP called Transgender American. I don't know. I guess the next, oh yeah, I applied to this internship for this media program. Still waiting on a response. Still got bills, I still got responsibilities, but I love it though. This is exciting. I don't document much, but my life ain't boring. I don't know, it's like in the words of January Jones and Mad Men. If you're bored, then you're boring. And I'm not saying that to people who's like, you know, doing stuff, not doing anything. Because if you're doing something, you're not bored, you're watching, you're learning. Shit, you could watch a video for like 30 seconds a day. And in those 30 seconds, can you say you were bored? That means in 30 seconds, if you have a boring life, considered boring life, you're not boring. So since then, I found that yeah, during that, like I said, I still work with developing disabled individuals. I, what's it called? I told him I was trans, told him my name's Veronica. Oh yeah, that's right, since the last video, I was going by Martha, so I decided to hyphenate that because Martha at the end of it has so much people saying my name that it was just like, everywhere I go, there's Martha, there's Martha. And I loved it though, it was cool. I'm not gonna hate on the people who loved me back. It was beautiful and I did work. Will I ever facilitate TJNC groups again? Yeah. Since then, the groups went over Zoom and I wasn't really down for the Zoom stuff, but I left before then. I left like a week before it shut down, two weeks. Trans it was like weird. It was like a transition of power. It was weird. I didn't want to look at it as like that, but it just felt like that. Cause people was just like looking at me and everything. and. It goes from one person running in or facilitating. And it's like, my mindset was that like, I was no leader. My mindset was I create leaders. And that's what I do, I stick to that. I don't know what else is there to talk about. I tried to get into my acting, sent in an audition video for Pose. Didn't get a reply back, but they ain't stopping me. Because I guess that's how a trans woman empire makes it in America. You just got to keep trying. So since then, I went independent, became, was a reject, became an American, became independent. Because I like to do, I do the jobs that I want to. And technically, it's a retail job of my independent contractor. And... Next step is building an empire. And how to make it in America, shit. I don't know how, but shit, the shit fun though. You see me smiling out here, like shit, coming out, I'm out. <laughs> so like, I say say for my closing remarks, to those wondering how they're gonna make it, I thought it was impossible. And for some it's difficult, for me it's difficult. When you make it, shit, don't look back. Unless you want to, but shit, keep pushing forward. Cause after that, who knows? After this video, cliched remark. <laughs>